This is a prayer of mercy. And I want us to open up our hearts at this moment and cry unto God for mercy. Cry to him from the bottom of your heart. And I want you to hold back nothing. Pour out everything from your heart. In any way, in any area of your life, you feel you have offended God. This is the time for us to ask him for his mercies. It would be very wrong for us to go straight and start asking him for mercy. So I want us, before we start praying for mercy of God upon us, let us open up our mouth and give thanks to him. Let's give thanks to God of gods. Let's give thanks to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's give thanks to the Holy Spirit of God. Father Lord, we have come before you as your children. And we are here, first of all, to give you thanks for all you have done in our lives, for what you are even preparing to do in our lives. Father Lord, you have been so great in our lives. You have been so wonderful. You have been so faithful to us every single day. And that's why we are here, to give you back all the glory, to give you back all the honor, to give you back all the adoration for whom you are in our lives. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, King of Glory, for your protection. Thank you, Lord, for your directions in our lives and families. Thank you, Lord, for your provision. And thank you, Lord, for all the revelations you have given to us. Thank you for letting us know where we have sinned against you through our dreams, through revelations, through that calm voice that is in us, which is you, and in the person of the Holy Spirit that has been speaking to us and letting us know the area we have offended you and where we have offended people around us. Thank you for being there for us at all time. Thank you for your loving kindness. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have given thanks. Amen. Now, people of God, we are going to ask God for his mercy. And I would like us to read Psalms 57 as the anchor scripture for our prayers of mercy today. Why it's important for us to read Psalms 57 first before we start to pray. It will help us to open up our heart. It will help us to be in the mood of prayers for mercy. And we are going to read from verse 1 to 11. And that is the complete chapter of Psalms 57. And I would like you to repeat Psalms 57 after me. And it reads, Be merciful unto me, O God. Be merciful unto me. For my soul trusted in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performed all things for me. He shall send from heaven and serve me from the reproach of him that will swallow me up. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lions and I lie even among them that are set on fire. Even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongue a sharp sword. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have dipped a pit before me into the midst whereof they are falling themselves. My heart is fixed, O God. My heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. I wake up, my glory, awake, sultry and harp, 
I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations, for thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. And I say amen to the word of God. Now, children of God, let us all be in the mood of prayers. Prayers for mercy over our lives and families. Let us open up our heart right now and connect to the heavens. Let us pour out our hearts. Let us grieve from the inside over our sins and ask God for his mercies. Remember, our God is a good God. And once you recognize your sin and you come to him, he's ever ready to receive you and forgive you all your sins. So do not hold back on anything. Every single sin that you have committed and you remember them, bring them before the throne of mercy right now and ask God for his mercies. Even the ones you do not remember or you're not even aware of, ask God to have mercy on you. Just last night, God brought to my notice someone I had offended many years back without me knowing that I have offended that person. And I was so glad that God revealed that to me because now I know where to direct my prayers. So maybe in your dream or in a revelation or in a trance or in your heart or spirit through that calm voice, however, God has revealed to you, God has brought to your notice about anyone that you have offended in the past unknowingly. Please use this opportunity and ask God to forgive you. And if you can get close to that person and ask the person one-on-one -on -one to forgive you, it will still be okay. But if you can't, ask God to forgive you and to touch the person's heart wherever the person is to forgive you. This is a prayer for God's mercy. Please open up your heart and pour out every sin that you know you have committed in the past. Maybe as a young person in a relationship, maybe as a young person in a family, maybe you offended your friend in the past, your family members in the past. However, whoever you have offended, just use this time to ask God for forgiveness of those sins. Because right now, we are standing before the throne of mercy. And God is here with us to hear our cry for mercy. There were things we did ignorantly when we were much younger. And the effect of those sins we committed when we were much younger, ignorantly, is affecting us today. They are chasing us up and down today. Now is the time for you to ask God to have mercy on you. It's time for me to ask God to have mercy on me because I did not know. I did not know what I was doing because you did not know what you were doing. I did. Let's just open up our heart and reflect back to our past lives. Anything you can remember that you've done that did not bring glory unto God, this is the time to ask Him for mercy. Let us also ask God that any sin that our parents committed on our behalf when we're still small and could not say yes or no, we could not stand and speak for ourselves, but just agreeing and compromising with what our parents we're doing on our behalf. Let's ask God to have mercy on us concerning those sins. Please pray for yourself. Pray for your loved ones 
this I cannot do for you. I don't know where you offended God and I have no right to judge you. And you are the only one to bring your sins before your creator and ask him for his mercies. And I'm also here to pray for myself because I know I did so many things in the past as a young person and I never knew the implications of these things in my life spiritually and physically. And that is why I'm here today, Lord. And I say, Father, Lord, have mercy on me. In any way I've wronged you, have mercy on me. In any way I wronged anybody in my life, in the past, Father, Lord, have mercy on me. And cause those people that I had offended in the past to forgive me, touch their heart, touch their heart wherever they are right now, because their heart is in your hands and you can turn them with the way you want them to be. Touch their heart right now wherever they are. Let them have mercy on me. Let them forgive me. Let them forgive me. Let them forgive me. In any way I offended them, my friends, my relatives, people I know at my workplace, in the church I worship, anywhere at all, as neighbors, Father, Lord, wherever these people are. And I offended them in any way, Father, Lord, touch their heart right now to forgive me. They should not have peace until they forgive me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord, have mercy. I'm standing here by the throne of your mercy. Father, I'm pleading for mercy upon my life. Father, have mercy upon me. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, do not let my past sins to frustrate me today. Do not let my past sins to be a stumbling block in my life. Do not let my past sins to be an hindrance to your blessings in my life and even the present sins in my life. Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. Wash me, O oh Lord, at this moment with the precious blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, that was shed on the cross of Calvary for my sins to be forgiven. Father, Lord, cleanse me one more time with that precious blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Cleanse me, O oh Lord, with that precious blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, you said in your word that you have mercy on whom you have mercy. Let me be that person that you have mercy upon in the mighty name of Jesus. Be merciful unto me, O God. Be merciful unto me, O God. For your mercy is great unto heaven. Father, have mercy on me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have all asked. Amen. Now, people of God, let us also open up our mouth right now and give thanks to God for his mercies upon us. He has forgiven us our sins and he has caused everyone that we had offended in the past and even right now to forgive us because their heart is in God's hands and God can turn their heart with the way he wants their heart to be. So God at this moment had touched their heart. They will remember us and they will say, oh, let me forgive this person because God has forgiven us and he will forgive us. So let us give thanks to God for his mercies upon us. Let us give thanks to God for causing those people that we offended to forgive us. Father, thank you so much. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for touching the heart of those men and women that we sin against to forgive us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord of lords, for your mercy is great unto the heavens in jesus mighty name amen father lord we also want to thank you for your revelation for the dream that you gave to us concerning those people that we sin against unknowingly thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus that shows how much you love us because if you did not love us, you will not give us that revelation. And giving us revelation, you have given us victory because those revelations and dreams has given us a clear prayer point for mercy. And you have given us mercy today. Thank you, Lord, for being our God. Thank you because it is not your will for any of us to perish in sin. 
I bless your name. I give you all glory. I give you all praise for being our Father and a loving Father for that matter. Blessed be your name, O Lord of mercy, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. People of God, let us be joyful. The Lord has forgiven us our sins and we are free indeed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It was so great to have a prayer of mercy together as a family. And from this moment onward, our lives will never remain the same. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I will not hesitate to let you know that I love you from the bottom of my heart. But remember, God loves you more. I will love you to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so yet so that you can stay connected with us. And don't forget to drop your testimonies of anything that God has done in your life. It will be a big encouragement to someone else to hold on to God. God bless you. Bye for now.